Okay, so let's walk through a method to solve this problem. That is identifying the poles and then what would happen to these two magnets. Um, so first of all, let's identify the direction of our current. So current going from our positive pole to the negative. And every time we write that, we smile because we know that the electrons are in fact going the other way. But there we go, our current and our current. Okay, so once we've established the current, let's go ahead and identify what that current is causing as far as a magnetic field around that wire. And so first of all, right hand rule. So let's start over on the left here. If I were to do the right hand rule there, my thumb would be pointing into the screen and I would see that the magnetic field around that wire would look like this. So we head to the second one and we say that in this case, the thumb would be coming out of the screen and we would see the magnetic field in this direction. Uh, again, the third one coming out of the screen, we can draw in the magnetic field here. Again, just pulling out the right hand each time. And for the last one, uh, going the thumb going into the screen, and we would have a magnetic field like that. Okay, so we know what's happening on an individual basis, the individual uh, wire heading into that solenoid. So now let's see what happens in the solenoid itself. So if we head up here, we have this wire going up the back of the solenoid. So we have to remember that that's at the back and our right hand rule with the current going up so we can put our thumb upwards and we would see that we would have it like this. There's our magnetic field. Now this is on the back of the core. So we know that this represents a magnetic field going to the right on this side of that wire and on the opposite side of the wire, that is outside of the solenoid, we have the magnetic field going to the left. So at this point, we see the magnetic field going to the right down the core and then outside of the core coming to the left. So let's double check that real quick. We'll go to the right hand side of that um, same solenoid and we could use our right hand rule and we see that on this wire here, the current's going down so if we were to do our right hand rule there, we would have it like that. So this part is on the outside of the wire. So it's going to the left and then it's going in around and behind the wire. So on the other side of the wire, it's going to the right and all the wires are doing the exact same thing. So for us to just double check at the beginning and the end, it just kind of verifies that yes, indeed, we can see that the magnetic field coming from the right hand side of the core and on the outside heading back and we can draw that magnetic field as heading in on the right. And we would stop and say, well, that looks like this is acting as our North Pole and this is acting as our South Pole. All right, so let's go to the next magnet. Let's uh, follow our wire up onto the solenoid and we can see that right hand rule with our thumb going down, current going down, we have it like this. So on the outside of this wire, it's going to the left. So we can draw a picture on the outside of the wires, they're going to the left. And on the inside of the wire and on the other side of the wire, we see it going down the core. So at this point, that's our feeling as to what's going on, but we'll double check ourselves. So as we come out of the end of this uh, wire, we can see that the current is going up here. So right hand rule again. And we have to, again, we remember that that's on the other side of the core. So uh, this side actually represents down the middle of the core and it is definitely going to the right. And then, as it goes around the outside of that wire, that's outside of the coil, so it's going left. So yeah, that verifies what we figured out at the beginning of this wire. So we could say that 
All right, if it's going down there, then we our magnetic field would look like this, and we could fill it all in coming in at the back. And that means that this is acting as our North Pole. This is acting as our South Pole. So we have South North, South North as our poles left to right. And then what's going to happen to these magnets? Well, um, if we take a look at it, with the current going in this direction, we have a north on the left and a south on the right, and therefore uh, these two magnets would be attracted at their ends there. So uh, answer is south-north, south-north, and an attraction between those two.